Hey, what's up everybody? David the Pro Solo Flipper. I'm here today just to make a video, kind of talk about how my first week of April went. Um, it was a good week for me. Sales were strong. And um, I ended up with over $3,600 in sales, which is good for me. I, I'm not sure if that's an actual record for me or not. I'd have to go back and look at my data from previous years. It's definitely my best week so far this year. Um, and it may be my best dollar, dollar week so far with reselling. Um, if it's not, it's close. Uh, it was forever, I'm sure of it, it was a record for the, um, the amount of items that sold. So I sold 139 items uh, in one week. That is almost 20 a day. Um, that's definitely a record for me. And um, anyway, what I'm going to do in this video is just kind of uh, talk about the reasons of why. Um, why I think I, this week went so well. Uh, what's going on, what I did to help it. Uh, maybe show you about show you my spreadsheet a little bit just to show you kind of talk about the numbers a little bit and then I'm probably going to show you kind of screen share and show maybe like the five best five of the best items that sold just so you kind of see um, what a few of my better sales were so uh, we'll start with talking about what what I did or why I think that um, sales were so good. So first off, we are all aware of what's going on with a lot of people, with most people quarantining themselves. A lot of people are at home. Um, uh, you know, when it first started happening, I was really worried that my sales were going to drop, as probably a lot of you were as well. Um, but what I'm actually seeing, and I think what most people are seeing, is that it's actually led to an increase in sales for this time of year. So uh, typically, um, this time of year is a little bit slower for me. Um, and it's hard to say. I, I think that I think that this is actually leading to a little bit more sales. People are at home; um, they don't want to go, venture out to the store, and so they are uh, buying buying the things that they need or want online a little bit more than usual. So, I th first off, I think that's that's one of the reasons. Uh, the second reason is um, I've just been doing a lot of listing. So, uh, in March, I listed 459 new items. So, I think that is a big reason why I'm seeing so much so many. Why I saw so many sales that first week of April was just that it, March I listed like crazy, so 459 new listings, and um, and got my level of listings up pretty high. So typically I've been around 1,100 listings or so. Um, at right now I'm at, I'm at about 1,400, and I've been about 1,400 for a couple weeks now. Uh, so so that in my opinion is the biggest reason is that I just got I just have been listing a lot and got a lot of new items up. So. Uh, 459 new listings in March. The first week of April, while I was having all these sales, I still got uh, 129 new listings up. Uh, my wife is at home now. She's helping me a little bit, um, although she's not helping as much as we as we thought she would be able to. The first week she was home, the kids weren't doing anything for school. Um, they hadn't started doing online schooling yet. So the first week, uh, we did pretty good. So. Um, I think we cranked out over 150 new listings. That I think that would have been the last week of, of March. And then the first week of April is when homeschooling started. And that and that has taken a lot of her time. Uh, she's helping our daughter with with uh, a lot of the schoolwork. And then she's doing other stuff just around the house. And so and, and getting her attention pulled from the kids, you know, um, while I'm down here working. But she still did manage to help me a little bit. We, like I said, we got 129 listings up. Uh, that second week she was home for the first week of April, uh, which is pretty good. That's a little bit more than I normally do by myself. So, uh, listings. In my opinion, when it comes to eBay and probably other platforms too, although I don't, I don't do much on other platforms. Listing is it. It's the key, right? The more you get listed, the more you will sell. So that's almost always my answer. I've, I've kind of harped on it. If you watch my other videos, that's what I always say. You know, if, if you're just having slow sales, get more listed. So. Uh, that's probably that's probably it, honestly, for why why I'm seeing so many sales. Uh, there's one other reason, and it has to do with um, I've been sharing my numbers on on Instagram. I think I talked about this in my last video, maybe. Um, and people were asking me why I didn't send offers, so because so, uh, it was showing uh, like over 500 eligible listings to send offers to. So I decided to experiment and just give that a shot. And so I listed, I sent offers for like 560. 565 items and so uh, the result of that was those offers were good for 48 hours that's kind of how it goes when you bulk 
send bulk offers, I guess. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever sent that, that amount of offers. I, I've done like five or ten a, a couple times here or there without much success. But So I sent 565. Um, in that two-day period of that 48-hour period, I got 36 sales that were from the offer. So... Um, which is about a 6% conversion rate. So, uh, so 36 sales out of 565 offers is about 6%. Um, normally in that time period, I would get about 2% conversion rate anyway. And so, and maybe it would be even a little bit higher because these are gonna represent more of your popular items. Ones that are eligible for sending offers are, are, are your ones that have list, have watchers or have people who've uh, viewed that item multiple times, um, things like that. So. Uh, 2%, we'll just say 2%, but I, I think that maybe uh, for your popular items it might might be higher than your other other items. So your sell-through rate, normal conversion rate might be a little bit higher, but uh, if that if you're following all this, if it makes any sense. So basically what I, what I see is 1% a day of my listings will sell, typically, maybe a little bit less than that these days. Um, so in that 48-hour period, I would have had 2% of those listings sell anyway so what that means is I would have sold maybe 11 of them um, instead I sold 36 so sending those offers resulted in my opinion 25 extra sales so that's pretty good for two days so 13 12 13 extra sales per day for those two days right so um, anyway I think that's that helped so those extra 25 sales um, out of the what did I say 139 sales for that week so um, anyway, that's kind of the reasons why. So just to recap, I, I recap, I think what's going on in the world right now, um, with, with so many more people at home and not wanting to venture out to shop, I think they're shopping more online. Um, two, which I think is the biggest reason is that, um, 459 new listings in March and 129 listings the first week of April, uh, that's going to lead to a lot of, a lot of sales, sales, just that many new items being put up. And then... Uh, the offers, sending those offers helped. Um, I never really did that as part of my, you know, business plan or whatever you want to call it, my strategy for making sales. But um, it was kind of fun. I got, I got to admit, when, when, when I sent those offers, I had about, I think, seven or eight sales in the first 15 minutes. So, and then it kind of slowed down as time went on. But I think I had, I think I had 26 in the first day, and then another 10 or so, or 13 or so in the second day. But Anyway, um, those are the reasons why I think um, why my sales were so good. And uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to take you, show you my spreadsheet now and kind of talk a little bit about the numbers and kind of show you just so you can see it on paper and see what it kind of looks like to get that, that many sales in a week. But So here comes the spreadsheet. Okay, so here's my spreadsheet kind of showing the start of April. Uh, it's going to show you a little bit more than the first week because we're almost done with the second week. But... Um, going back to looking at the first week, so, um, and this is what I like about my spreadsheet in Excel. You can kind of highlight uh, groups of things and see totals for and averages and things like that. So if I highlight these uh, seven days and you go down here and look at the bottom here, you can see that the total for those seven days was 36.42 and the average for those days was $520. So $520 a day for the first week of April. That's awesome. Um, just to kind of give you uh, an idea of what I aim for, my goal for the whole year is to average 400 a day. Um, I don't think I'm going to hit that. I, I really hope I do, um, but I don't think I will. Um, I'm probably more around 300 right now, which is um, it's expected to be lower this time of year, and then I expect fourth quarter to bring my, my average up, but this month uh, is going really well so far. So... Um, and to put that in perspective, if you're 400 a day, then you're looking at it like just short of $150,000 in sales for the year. And um, and then if you add in local sales or Amazon sales, you'll probably be just over 150000 And for me, um, my profit margin tends to be about half of my sales. And so um, if I could average 400 a day, then I would be making probably about $75,000 a year um, on my own as a reseller, which I think would be great. Um, I would be extremely happy with that. Uh, so anyway, so I, you can see there that it was my my total sales for the week were 36.42, an average of 520 dollars a day. Uh, I did sell, and then if you highlight this, it'll show you um, 
highlight the, day, the number of sales per day, then it shows you down here the total sales were 139 and that the average was 19.857 per day. So pretty much 20 a day. If I would have had one more sale, I would have had 20 per day. Um, but like I said, uh, I don't know if I did mention that, but the average sale price was a little bit lower um, for, for me for normal. It came out to about $26 and something cents uh, per sale, which is a little bit low for me. Mine is typically in the 30 to $33 an average sale price range. Um, a couple of reasons for that. One, this time of year, I, I typically sell lower price items. Uh, if I am selling clothing, it's more like uh, shorts or shirts uh, versus pants and uh, jackets, which still have a higher selling price. So uh, I do sell some pants, but like, you know, uh, and generally I'm, I'm selling lower price items uh, and I'm always striving to sell higher price items. And so um, you can see over here that my average sale price for April so far is $25.78 if you look at this box right here, uh, which is low. And you compare it to the month before, it was 33, 31, and almost 30 in January. So definitely lower. Part of that, part of that is, um, like I said, just generally lower price priced items and start selling in the spring. Um, and then also I sent the offers. The offers were a 10% discount. Um, so that would take 10% off too, which would be, well, about $3, right? If I average, if I normally average 30 and I, I gave a 10% discount, then I'm going to be averaging $3 off of that. So that would be about 27. So that, that's probably a big chunk of it. Um, and then there was something else happened that if you look at this one day, I had 33 sales there. Um, I believe 20 something of those were to one customer who bought a bunch of uh, I have low priced some low price auto parts on here that are for older vehicles and so they don't sell very well so uh, they're priced pretty low and then he kind of messaged me and made me a bunch of offers that were even lower and so I think for those 25 or whatever it was I think the average sale price on those was only like 11 bucks but I like I said I think the total it was over $200 that um, the sale was to him, but it was very low price items. And so that's the other reason why my, my average sale price is pretty low. So anyway, that's just it. That's it. You can see. And then if you add up, I had some other sales here, uh, local sales. I was doing, I did a few, it looks like I did seven and then I did had one Amazon sale. So, um, all together for the week, if you count those, then I was at 3877, almost 4,000. So that's, that's a great week for me. And then the second week of April, you can see that I won't count today with the 13th since we're only halfway through. Um, hopefully the sales are going to pick up this evening because there's a little bit slow so far. I've only got $114 so far today. But even if you look at these five days, uh, not nearly as good as the first week, but still averaging uh, 390, 393 a day, 393.60, almost 400. And then still, I, I'm really happy with this right here. I mean... If you look at the first five days of April, not counting today, like I said, I'm averaging 15.4 sales a day, um, which is really good. I have about 1,400 listings, so that's a little bit more than 1% a day. Uh, like I said, really happy with that. If I can maintain that, I'd be ecstatic, and I'd be I'd be definitely hitting or exceeding some goals that I've set for myself for this year. So anyway, that's my spreadsheet. Um, there's a lot of more other data in here that I won't, I won't show you right now, but... Um, so I will show you now just a few of my better sales that I had. Um, like I said, I did sell those all those car parts to one guy for a couple hundred bucks. I'm not gonna, I'm not, I won't show you those. I don't think those will be very exciting. Like I said, they only sold for like maybe t 10 or 12 bucks a piece, um, which wouldn't even have been worth it individually. But since they all went in one box, and I, th I believe I shipped that box, uh, it was either $17 or $27. I can't really remember, but um, I could look. But anyway, it wasn't very much. They were just going a couple states away. Uh, so I think after fees and shipping, I, I still netted like $153 out of that one sale to, or, you know, the one sale to the guy. Anyway, so now I'll show you some of my solds. All right, so the first one I'm going to show you here is this Sony Handycam. So I got this at the thrift store for $8.00. And it sold for a hundred dollars. Didn't take very long. I think it sold within the the first week I had it listed. 
Sold for $100. Shipping on it was $17.75. Um, and eBay fees were about $10. PayPal fees were about $3. So uh, profit, total profit on this was about $60. So this was a pretty good, pretty good deal. So on to the next one. Okay, number two here I'm going to show you is this, it's kind of like a vintage board game. I don't know if it's vintage or not, but it, so I went to the thrift store one day and it looked like somebody had donated somebody's entire board game collection. And it wasn't like normal games like Monopoly or Sorry or, or Scrabble. It was a bunch of, you know, just kind of different games, a lot of like... Uh, war type games or role playing games or whatever you want to call it. But anyways, this one sold, and I paid I think uh, two or three dollars for each game. Uh, but this one sold, and these board games have been selling well right now, um, while everybody's on, at home on quarantine, self isolating themselves in their homes and just stay, ha hanging out with their families, and they're looking for stuff to entertain them. So these board games are doing well. But this one sold for forty dollars. Um, like I said, I probably paid three dollars for it. Shipping was eight dollars and thirty-three cents. eBay fees was four bucks, and PayPal was like a dollar forty-six. So, uh, all in all, the profit on this one was twenty-three dollars, which is not bad. Um, but like I said, these board games are selling pretty well. If you look for unique or um, uncommon games, they, they they can sometimes bring a lot of money. This one did pretty good at forty dollars. Um, not not the best I've done, uh, but not the worst either. So I, I, anytime you can get a profit over twenty dollars on one item, I think I think you're doing pretty good. Okay, number three here is this Sony CD player. Um, I picked this up at I think the thrift store too, and I think I paid uh, twenty three dollars for it. Um, I, I had a I had a coupon, so I saved a little bit of money off of what they were asking. And uh, it sold for $110 with $30 shipping. So I typically do free shipping on everything, but I'm starting to charge shipping um, separately for these bigger items, just a flat shipping rate. So, uh, so yeah, it sold for $110 with $30 shipping, so $140 basically altogether. And it sold fairly quickly too, I, I believe in the first couple weeks. Shipping on this, okay, this was a heavy sucker. It weighed like 28 pounds. So shipping on this was like $46.53 uh, sent FedEx ground. And then eBay fees were on this were 14 and PayPal fees were $4.36. So all in all, my profit on this one was about $52. So um, I struggle with stuff like this because I really don't enjoy packaging this stuff, this kind of stuff up. And then, um, you know, Heaven forbid something happens to it on the way there. I've had pretty good luck with that as far as that's concerned, but um, I would hate, hate to have to take this back as a return. Um, I, I don't do free returns on this. They would, they would have to pay for return shipping unless something happened to it. So um, it seems like, for me, these feel like a lot of work and a lot of risk for... Um, but at a $52, $52 profit um, for one item... Uh, you know, that's pretty good, when, especially when you consider I sold uh, on, you know, maybe 20 items that day, and that was only one of the items that the profit was on. So, but I, I am showing you the better, the better sales here. So, anyway, that's that one. All right, the next one here is a set of books. So, um, I used to sell quite a few books when I was able to find them in bulk lots at the auction house. Um, I'm not seeing those as, as much anymore, and I am starting to see more competition at the auction lots too. So these ones actually came from a thrift store. I believe I paid four bucks a piece for these books, so I'm sixteen dollars into them, seventeen maybe if you want to count uh, tax. And they sold. They took a little while to sell. I would say maybe two months or so to tell to sell, which is not a big deal to me. Um, Books of sets do really well for me. I really like, if you can find a complete set of books, almost any complete book of sets, it seems like, complete set of books is worth pretty good. I mean, some of the, some of the, not, the fiction you know, novels, maybe not so much. But anyway, if you see a set of books, which you can often find at like estate sales or sometimes at the thrift stores or garage sales, um, take the time to look them up because... Um, Sixty dollars is on the low end of what I sell some some of these sets of books for. Now there is only four books here, but super easy to picture, super easy to list. Um, comps are pretty easy to figure out. Anyway, like I said, it did take a couple months on these, but it sold them for sixty dollars. Shipping on these was ten dollars and thirty cents with media mail, and it, it was pretty heavy. But so that's why even the media mail was pretty high still. eBay fees were six dollars. PayPal fees were two dollars and four cents, and so profit on this was about. $24 or so um, 
but like I said, I, I wanted to show you this one because I wanted to mention the sets of books. Um, keep an eye out for them. They, they can do really well. All right, the last one here I'm going to show you is this vintage Champion Juicer. So I found this at the thrift store as well. Um, I paid up for a little bit for this. I think I paid $33 for it, and that was with a, a coupon as well. Uh, I'm trying to get away from like not I wouldn't say away from clothing clothing and shoes but what I am trying to do is get to higher price items so I'm looking at at buying items like this or the other a few other things that I've shown you in this video um, to try to make more profit per item so anyway this one I, I looked up the comps of this and they look good so I picked it up brought it home tested it cleaned it up and um, it was listed. I don't remember how long it was listed. It was less than a month because I, I know I didn't I didn't relist this, but I would say two or three weeks. It sold for 145. I had free shipping on this, so um, that was incorporated in the price. Uh, so shipping on the, it was a little bit heavy. So I sent this FedEx ground, and it went shipping was 27 dollars and 23 cents. eBay fees was 14.50, and PayPal fees were 4 dollars and 50 cents. So all in all, my profit was about 65 dollars on this item. So. Um, anyway, that, that just give you an idea of what my some of my better sales were. Like I said, a lot of my sales were for lower price items uh, so far this month, um, which is fine with me too. Um, they all add up, right? So um, anyway, that's that's what the ones I'm going to show you today. All right, so that's it, guys. I just kind of wanted to show you uh, kind of what sold and what I, the reasons I think why. So as a quick recap as to why I think that people are at home and they're, and they're shopping more right now. Uh, and the other reason is just get just getting so many listings up. That's gonna it's bound to lead to more sales. So that's my biggest advice for you right now is is just get as many listings as possible as up. That's not even right now. That's just if you want to be successful reselling, just it's just about buckling down and getting the listings up. Um, especially for me. I mean, if you're if you're the type of that sources at thrift stores or garage sales or auctions and is buying these one-off items or sometimes hopefully you can find some some items that are in multiple quantities but um, if that's how you are sourcing and that's the kind of the your business plan or your business strategy then you just need to buckle down and get the listings up you know um, if you're a wholesaler then you might spend most of your time calling on, or visiting places and trying to line up those accounts but um, for the rest of us who, who like who like to go out in the thrill of a hunt and sourcing and finding those deals uh, you got to take the time to get the listings up and that's just that's just what it takes so um, that's my advice to you you might you might want to try sending some offers um, like I said the offers that I sent did fairly well and and if I didn't mention it I what the offer was was a 10% off offer so it wasn't super high uh, it wasn't really low either I guess but it was it was enough that, that enough people jumped at the, at the opportunity to buy so um, anyway that's it if you guys have any questions or comments just uh, hit me up below. I'll, I, I, I read everybody's comments and I, I will respond to the questions that you guys have. You can reach out to me on Instagram if you want. Uh, same account there, Pro Solo Flipper. Um, hopefully, you guys are staying healthy, staying safe, and uh, your businesses are doing fairly well. I've heard that a lot of people's are. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time. Uh, like, share, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Thanks, guys.